Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also pleased to report that following the summit negotiations, President uh, Putin and, of, and Prime Minister Modi ji, uh, both sides have adopted the joint statement, uh, Russia, India, an enduring partnership in a changing world. Excellencies, this concludes the signing and exchange ceremony. I now request the spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs to conduct the proceedings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this press event. To begin the proceedings, may I request the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to deliver his statement to the media. Your Excellency, Rusi Sankhya Rashtrapati. Your Excellency, President of the Russian Ganesh Federation, Krishna, and my close friend, Vladimir, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. Putin Delegates and representatives from both countries, Namaskar, Namaskar. Dobri Din. Dobri Din. It is a matter of a great honor and pleasure to welcome President Putin and his delegation to India for the 19th annual bilateral meeting. We are welcoming the President of a country with which we have had unparalleled ties. Your own personal contribution to these relations is invaluable. The members of our informal summit meeting in Sochi organized by President Putin remain fresh in my mind. That special meeting had made it possible for both of us to have frank and detailed discussions. Mr. President, in India gives top priority to our ties with Russia. In this fast-changing world, our relations are even more relevant. The continuous series of 19 summit meetings have given new impetus and direction to our special and privileged strategic partnership. And they have also provided new meaning and purpose to our cooperation on global issues. Your visit has indeed provided a strategic direction to our cooperation. Today, the momentous decisions that we have taken will provide a will provide Human give a fresh impetus to our relations along with a long-term perspective. They will further bolster the key pillars of our relations from trade to investment, from the peaceful use of nuclear energy to solar energy, from technology to economic cooperation, from across the whole uh, world, from the sea to the space, our ties will be further strengthened and diversified. We have in fact taken our relations beyond the traditional and conventional limits. This is further bolstering the key pillars of our relations. Russia has always stood shoulder to shoulder by India's side in its development energy. A new goal in the sector of space is to send Indian astronauts to space under the Indian Gaganyaan program. I am convinced that we will get full cooperation from Russia.
These ideas have been jointly developed by the children, the talented children of India and Russia. India and Russia have also had a close cooperation in many fields. I'm also very pleased about the fact that in a very short while, we are going to take part in the India-Russia Business Summit. There will be about uh, 200 leading entrepreneurs from both countries who will participate in this uh, summit. India and Russia have very close cooperation in all areas of mutual interest. President Putin and I have also discussed these at length. India and Russia both believe that multipolarity and multilateralism must be strengthened in this rapidly changing world. It is in, in the interest of both our countries to cooperate in the fight against terrorism, on the developments in Afghanistan, in the Indo-Pacific, the climate change, and in regional organizations such as SCO and BRICS and multilateral organizations such as the G20 and ASEAN. In international organizations, we must continue our beneficial cooperation and coordination in international organizations as well. We have been very impressed by the steps taken by President Putin for the development of the Far East region in Russia. India is ready to cooperate with Russia in this region. Thanks to the decisions that we have taken today, there will be an increase in our cooperation and they will also contribute to, to restoring peace and stability in this world, which is full of challenges. Friends, the source of strength of relations between India and Russia is the goodwill and friendship between the people of our countries. Today, we have discussed many measures to further strengthen people-to-people relationships and also to increase the understanding and knowledge that our people have of each other, in particular our youth. This will help build a new foundation for the future of the relations between India and Russia. Friends, I can say with full confidence that the friendship between India and Russia is in itself very unique. I am sure that thanks to President Putin's commitment to this special relationship, our relations will be infused with a new energy and the strong trust and friendship between our countries will be further strengthened and our special and privileged strategic partnership will attain new heights. Thank you. I wish you all uh, my heartfelt thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Spasiba. Now it is my pleasure to invite the President of the Russian Federation, His Excellency Mr. Vladimir Putin, to deliver his statement to the media. Dear friend, Your Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, we, it is always our great pleasure to come to India because we know that here we will find an environment of sincere friendship, business-like communication and cooperation. Our nations and states have for a long time been connected through a strong relationship of friendship, mutual respect and sympathy. Yesterday, during the working dinner with Prime Minister Modi, and I'm, by the way, very grateful to you for this sign of friendship, for giving us this opportunity to talk in this very close format and to discuss the most important and relevant topics on the agenda, on the global agenda, and discuss the fundamental issues of Russian-Indian cooperation and to outline new horizons. And today, first in the restricted format and then with participation of delegations, we discuss the key areas of our cooperation. We've had a very meaningful discussion on the whole range of issues of bilateral cooperation. We have discussed in detail relevant 
topics of international and regional agenda. We have adopted a joint statement which reflects almost all aspects of Russian-Indian cooperation. We have outlined large-scale plans for a long-term prospect. A solid package of interagency and corporate documents we have just signed today has been prepared for the visit and its goal is to further develop and deepen our bilateral ties in various areas. It is true that we indeed discussed during this negotiations our trade and investment cooperation and broadening this kind of cooperation is of utmost importance for me and for Mr. Prime Minister. We have set a goal of increasing the goods turnover up to 30 billion US dollars by 2025 and the amount of mutual investment up to 15 billion US dollars. And in this context, we were pleased to note that last year mutual trade grew by 21 percent, exceeding 9 billion US dollars. And over the seven months of this year, it has added another 20 percent. If we proceed moving at this at this pace, we will be able to reach our goal even before the set framework. Business circles of Russia and India maintain close contacts. They implement large joint investment projects. Representative Indian delegations took part in St. Petersburg Economic Forum and in the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok. And it is my great pleasure to once again invite Mr. The Prime Minister to participate in the next Vladivostok Forum as the main guest at the Vladivostok Economic Forum in September 2019. Russian Indian Business Forum is taking place in New Delhi these days, and Mr. Prime Minister and I will deliver a statement to its participants, and we will support useful initiatives to develop cooperation in key areas of economy and finance. Deepening our cooperation in energy sector is one of the topics that we have paid a lot of attention to together with Mr. Prime Minister. Minister. We gave a positive assessment of implementation of interagency program of cooperation in the strategic area. Russia is a reliable supplier of hydrocarbons to India. We are successfully implementing long-term contracts through Rosneft and Gazprom to ensure to supply the Indian economy with energy commodities. India imports Russia's liquefied natural gas. We are supplying this gas from Sahalin one field in which Indian partners own 20%. In June, the first batch of LNG was sent to the Indian market within the framework of the contract between Gazprom and the S Authority of India Limited. We also welcome interest of energy companies from India to expand their businesses in Russia. We are ready to consider the possibility of cooperating within the such programs as Far Eastern LNG, Optic, LNG2, and also other to explore and to explore sexual resources of Siberia, Yamal, and continental shelf of the Russian Federation. We have discussed in detail the flagship project and the peaceful use of nuclear energy, Kudankulam nuclear power plant. The first two units of this nuclear power plant are gaining their full capacity. The third and fourth units are being constructed. The fifth and sixth units are to be constructed next. According to the agreement that we possess, based on Russian high-tech technologies, we plan to build 12 power units in the next 20 years in India. We have touched upon strengthening our cooperation in industry and investment. We talked in particular about machine building, metallurgy, agriculture, medicine, pharmaceuticals, and biochemical technologies. We believe there is a good prospect for a joint cooperation in large infrastructure projects. In particular, a Russian railways company is ready to participate in the project to build modern railroads in India. We have agreed that Russia will assist Indian partners in exploring outer space. Roscosmos Agency plans to participate in preparing Indian national program to launch the manned spacecraft. And of course, we have discussed in detail the prospects of our military and technical cooperation. For decades, Russia and India have been cooperating successfully in this area. We enjoy a truly close and mutually beneficial relationship, which is an inalienable part of the Russian-Indian strategic partnership.
взаимодействие в сфере ВТС не ограничивается только поставками Our cooperation goes beyond suppliers of Russian weapons. Our country produces and develops jointly modern military products. We maintain regular contacts between ministries of defense and general staff of our country. We improve our combat readiness. In August, Indian units participated for the first time in anti-terror exercises called Peace Mission 2018 that took place in Russia. India servicemen are active participants of Army International Games in tank biathlon and in competitions of Alpine Special Forces. We have, of course, paid a lot of our attention during our talks to humanitarian component of our relationship. Russia and India have always demonstrated interest in each other's culture and spiritual legacy. This is confirmed by the huge success of the Festival of India in Russia, which will last until March 2019 in 22 cities of Russia. India will host Festival of Russian Culture. I'm convinced all these events will bring the peoples of our countries even closer. There are almost 10,000 Indian students in Russia and about 100 scholarships are provided to citizens of India annually. India is a popular direction for Russian tourists. In 2017, about 220 thousand Russians visited India. We received 94,000 Indians in Russia. When discussing international agenda, we have confirmed that Russia and India adhere to similar or concurrent positions on the key global issues. Bearing this in mind, we have agreed to step up our coordination cooperation at multilateral platforms such as the UN, BRICS, SCO, and G20. We will also cooperate closely to strengthen security and cooperation in Asia. We will combat such challenges and threats as international terrorism, drug trafficking, and trans-border crime. We have also touched upon restoration of economy and stable political development of Afghanistan. We have exchanged views on the situation in the Middle East. I have informed Mr. Prime Minister about the situation in Syria. We have also discussed the situation that came as a result of unilateral actions of the U.S. to withdraw from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of action on Iran's nuclear deal. And in conclusion, I would like to thank Mr. Prime Minister and all of our Indian friends and colleagues for this very meaningful and constructive negotiations. I'm convinced that their results will help further contribute, will have further step up strategic partnership between Russia and India and strengthen friendship between our countries and nations. As I have already said, Prime Minister and I will have a meeting with the representative of business circles as well as with talented Indian children and their peers from the Russian educational center named Sirius who came upon Mr. Modi's invitation to India. I will also meet with Mr. President of the Republic of India. Mr. Prime Minister has put forward a number of humanitarian initiatives such as to renew the publishing of Russian and Indian books and also cooperate in some other areas in humanitarian field. I believe it is very important. We will support these initiatives because we believe that cooperation in this field and people-to-people -people contact will definitely help consolidate the friendship between the peoples of India and the Russian Federation. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. This concludes the President. Thank you all for joining us.